Ladies, gather round. You do want to see what Robin is capable of in less than a minute. Yes, and, ha and hanging the bishop with, with ideas is the young boy. Yes, queen to h6. Well calculated by Kurtz, only down a single piece. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> As he is reminded by the commentary in the booth here, feeling worse about himself now is Eric, counting the pieces for the first time this match. And yes, he. Yes, that's it. Hi everyone, this is Robin for the Chessbar channel and in this video I try to adopt our friend Eric Kurtz, a familiar face to the channel, by winning 10 games in a row at one of our Chessbra parties in Montreal. Amon Hamilton provided some really funny commentary to this and for those who don't already know, we recently launched our store which now ships to the US and to Canada. Click on the i icon on the top right of the video and we'll link you right to that store. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you later. If you wanna... Okay. I appreciate it, Robin. Thank you. Thank you for coming, by the way. Take You're welcome, buddy. You're my favorite, you know that, right? I know it. Everyone knows it. Yeah, I think I'll say that Eric Kurtz is definitely he's getting better. He's improving. Got a two-handed castle, yep. USCF rules. <laughs> the American man. Wait, you Ah, uh, okay, I'm spooked already, dude. Okay. I don't think that uh, yeah, Kurt's values are sufficient. Okay, you're hitting that like a. No. It's okay. Shit, fuck. <laughs> I'm just getting shit on. Oh, there's a, that's a port. I'm obviously not, not functioning correctly. <laughs> Oh, that's um, okay. Dude. I want to try to flag the old like, man. I am going to try to flag the old man. <laughs> I'm so shit on here. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh, it's not on the. Uh... No, it's, it's here. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, no. My bad. So fucking made it. That's a good question. Am I going to adopt Kurtz before it's Lafong arrives? It's it's probably dude. Probably. Can I get more rum and coke, please? Guys, we need to fill up. I didn't finish it yet, but I want more.
Yeah. 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 I can finish it. Yeah. No, I just want more. There you go. Why'd you give it to me then? Just in, in preparation. We're doing a second match. We're going to need it. You're getting Exciting match between Robin Van Kamp and what the boy from Delaware, Knight V6. An inventive move. The queen has been fondled. Knight V6. Pawn to D5. Enterprising move by VK. Dude, I'm getting so shit on. Queen to A5. Is that how you treat your ladies in Delaware? Uh, yeah. Why are you trying to but like, D5 talk about good chess? Tell us, Eric the Red. Very good competition. Eric the Very Red. Good competition. That, like, this weird guy Eight from two. Delaware calls me Eric the Red. It's fucking strange. King to E8. We'll see if the boy from Delaware attempts castling in the near future, even though it is now impossible. <laughs> the queen has been touched. Pawn to H4. Confusing the Dutchman. <laughs> Queen to d7. I think we've seen more queen moves than good moves from Eric Kurtz today. <laughs> and capping it off by losing the rook on h8. Now he certainly won't be able to castle. And that will be the game. The score is 2 to nil for Robin van Kampen. <laughs> uh, do you want to change it to 5? No, no, it's okay. I feel like five would be more appropriate. I, 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 There's been a proposition by the Dutchman, I just, promptly refused by the Delawarean. I just, I need to get uh, one more. It's gonna have to change to five. Proper banter here between the compatriots. C four and opening by kids. Bit of sloppy play. We see the nerves come in here for Eric. Don't play touch move here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you slip up there. A3 has been played. And we've seen a similar structure here before. Is there any improvement from Eric Kurtz or is he going to lose the exact same way? I wonder. Riveting stuff. Riveting <laughs> stuff. Deep into the eyes of Eric Kurtz. He's played it. Bishop E3. He's developed his bishop and lost the pawn. It's magnificent. We've never seen such a player. Knight to d4, exchanging pieces after losing material. Solid plan by Eric Kurtz. A5 has been played. Kurtz, seeing if you can find a way to trade more pieces here. And queen b2 was considered but not played by Eric. Queen to c5. Rook b to d1. Yes, doubling on the open file against a pawn which can be defended very easily. You're making me feel bad. How do you know I was talking about you, you and not uh, Robin doubling on the F file? He was actually talking about me this time. <laughs> Classy stuff here, pawn to E5, blunting the fianchetto queen on B2. We do hear some French in the background, <laughs> coming to you live from Montreal, Canada. <laughs> We remind the viewers that this is a time odds game. Three minutes to one minute. Time ticking for Eric. A regrouping. Queen to h4. Aggression here by the Dutchman. Queen to d4. Centralization. Rook 3 5 and deep in thought is Kurtz. Rook 3 e 3. <laughs> lovely, lovely touch there. Just a little flick on. <laughs> Queen to f6. He's holding his head. But will he hold on to this time lead? Oh, shit. That's what we're all wondering. I can't here. handle it. Come on. You can't and, handle the chair? Uh, no, I can't handle it. Coming to you from chess cross <laughs> stadiums. Queen to d3. If possible, Eric would like to put all his pieces on light squares. Queen to h6. 
Rook to g4. Yes, only two pieces remain to be on light squares here. Perhaps king to h1, cementing light square control by Eric. <laughs> Rook to g3, a threat of his own. Tired as Kurtz of being reactive here. Time advantage dwindling here. <coughs> 28 and counting. Queen to f6. Oh, he's lamented that one, has he? <laughs> King to g1, and it is curtains here for Kurtz. Down on the clock as well as the board. King to h2, queen f2, the entry by vk. And h5, something to worry about here for the Dutchman. The counter-attack here, yeah? it's a nice through ball. We do see a check. Queen to f4. He's thinking about- Oh, and the time is dwindling here. Bishop to h3, and can he finish in two seconds? We will see. Queen to e3, queen to e5, and he sinks back in his chair as he just cannot keep pace with the Dutchman. 3 nil is the score line at the halfway point. A nice attack here from Kurtz. We will see him persevere. Um, I believe the rules of the game are uh, being adjusted. Correct? No, I want to bring it up to five, but I can play 50 seconds is maybe a better sure, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will play 50 seconds, yes. Um, I don't know if you're that fast, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he finishes quickly. <laughs> seconds all Hooji. <laughs> Ooh, Hooji. Hooji got a little experience. Uh, uh, any halftime interviews here? Uh, he, he won the ball, you know, with a few, few, few zingers there. Hmm? I, can, I, really, I can't handle it. Come on. I can't handle the... The colors Yeah. Wait, Robert, are you trying to adopt Eric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before LaFong comes, I'm trying to adopt him. Yeah. So you're giving me more time to waste. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the odds have been increased. Robin feeling confident in his play. Knight to c3. Developing the pieces like I was taught when I was four years old. Knight to c3. And we see Eric. <laughs> he tried to get a fast one past the Dutchman. Knight to d6. No respect for the bishops, has Kurtz. <laughs> I, I don't think the bishops are good here. Maybe I'm wrong. He doesn't think the bishops are good here. Let's remember that in a couple moves, oh. folks. <laughs> <laughs> I can, can I put it on the other side? Yes. Yeah. And Eric, on, Eric. Eric has switched to the other side. Mm, B6. Okay. Oh, it's a pump fake from Kurtz. <laughs> <laughs> a pump fake. Knight on B3, exerting okay. pressure over the C1 square. Bishop h4. Kurt sees the threat. Tactical vision, this one. Knight captures. And the bishop has been nullified. And Kurt's feeling feeling energetic here. Touches the pawn. Ah. But safety first. Bishop to g4. Knight to f3. Another pawn thrown in the fire by Eric here. C5, a space gaining move. Declining an exchange of queens, perhaps he didn't see that he was down material. H pawn touched. Yeah, but like, he's, he's like, he's doing his master, so like, that's like, that counts for something, right? A5, lashing out at the queen side, lots of play to be had there. <laughs> giving up the B file. Yes, giving up the open file. Lovely touch by Kurtz. Yes, more trades. Queen E5, yes, centralization. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Queen to c6 and knight to d6. Precision by the Dutchman. <laughs> Thrown off is Eric. h5, a space gaining move. Knight g4. And calculating is Kurtz. Knight to h6. Brilliant attacking move. Knight e4. I, I can't take it, Amal. I really can't. I'm 11 like, seconds has Van Kampen. One more hour. I think you're rusty, probably. Really? Yeah. Rusty? This looks pretty good, too. But I like this. Will he be able to close this one out with 11 seconds here? More than a minute has Eric. Holy fuck me, dude. It looks pretty good now. Yeah, six is faster. And he holds it today. Not the best outing on the pitch here for Kurtz. I played really badly against Robin. What's the score, Amal? Uh, you, Score is 4 to 0. Uh, okay. For the boy from Queens. Does everyone have a drink? Anybody need a drink? Let me know. I don't know. I'm almost 
here and complications in the opening. H4, yes. Against the uncastled king, it's a known procedure. Knight to C6. Ah. H4 now looks to have a lot of power against the king on G8. Yes, preemptive strike by Kurtz here. Bishop to D6. Bishop to F4, he managed to develop it without losing material this time. Improvement from Kurtz here. Uh, it's not here. Okay. Knight to a4. Knights usually improve their scope from the side of the board. Kurtz understands this. Knight captures c6. And the knight lands itself in the c5 square. Positional play here from the boy, from the states that are united. Knight to h5. Both players using the fact that knights on the side of the board do improve scope. Well done by the pair of them. <laughs> I really can't take it, Amon. That's, that's my reason for why I'm Two right minutes now. in counting for Kurtz here. Tactics likely ensuing here. Fucking really, dude. Hangs his head in shame, does the young boy. <laughs> uh, well, how many? Five are we at? That, that is a big score Halfway adoption. Here. Uh, in my, in the room. Uh, I think, probably in my, in my brown bag. I think so. Robin has indicated that he's considering bringing out his brown bag for Eric. Yeah, I'll take it with my $40. Anything for Eric. The time has been started and we're off. It looks like a Piers. Eric Kurtz and Nepal Nishia are two of the world's greatest in this variation. Ah, okay. Nice to six. A bit of a chatterbox is Eric here, very, feeling very confident in his pet system. I don't remember. Just actually. what pet is he? We all need to know. <laughs> Bishop g4, yes. Lack of respect for the bishops continues throughout this match. Pawn to e5. The knight has vanished from the board. Robin is so far up Kurtz's ass and can kiss an Eric's dream. Why is he called Kurtz? Capturing on c6. Yes, both players with no respect, yes. Love to see it. Camaraderie between them. Giving a bishop each. And c5 has been played. Interesting mm -hmm. captures here. It's fucking, that's fucked. Kurtz is attempting to trap both of his rooks this game. <laughs> He's managed to do one of them. Bishop captures f8. And is it possible to lose both rooks in a matter of minutes? We will find out, folks. Riveting stuff here. <laughs> we will find out very, very shortly. No, I don't believe it is possible. The rook will be saved, attentive is Kurtz to the bleeding wound that is his position. Rook to c8, yes. Going on the close file. <laughs> Eric choosing to put the rook on the file with the most pawns. <coughs> King to h7, yes. The knight on e8, gasping for air as Kurtz is himself. Rook to d3, yes. As we see the power of the rook on c8 and the knight on e8 defending the pawn on c7. Keeping things under control and fourth thing is Kurtz. He has tapped out, ladies and gentlemen, and the score increases 6 0 for the Dutchman as we do approach adoption. The papers have entered the building, the Stanley Cup is in the building, the people are waiting to see this grand finale. In need of his inhalers, Eric. <coughs> Oh shit. Knight to f3 and two hits of the clock. e4, knight to c3, c5. Rook to e1, d6. Bishop e3, once again developing without losing material. Well done. Well done. Finding bishop to h6, yes, an attacking game by Eric. Rook to d1. And. Looking at the clock is Eric. Going for the flag already. Bishop to g5. <laughs> a cultivating pin. E5. 
<laughs> looking to experiment in the center. Ah, yes, fourth thing is Kurtz, but no, no, he's back in the game, folks. <laughs> Utilizing his pump fake technique that he's known for. Especially to g7, knight to h6, king f8, queen to f4, looking for trades once again is Eric. 38 seconds. <laughs> Ladies, gather around. You do want to see what Robin is capable of in less than a minute. Yes, and, ha and hanging the bishop with, with ideas is the young boy. Yes, queen to h6. Well calculated by Kurtz, only down a single piece. <laughs> a what? Oh shit. <laughs> as he is reminded by the commentary in the booth here, feeling worse about himself now is Eric, counting the pieces for the first time this match. And yes, he, yes, that's it. He's forfeited his match seven to nil as he learns to count. Um, do you want me to bring it down further? No, 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 please don't. No, I'll feel well, bad about myself. We've broken the match into three segments, I think, for the, the yeah. final I'll, segment. I'll, I'll feel shitty about it. No, 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 please don't. It's I'll feel really fair. bad about myself when I lose it again. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not even getting close on time, so like... Are we going down in time? Before? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's three stage. It's three stage. Oh, that's it, that's it. Tommy Shelby donated $69. Tommy Shelby says... Thank you, Tommy Shelby. Every commentary, wicked match. <laughs> Critics call it the feel-good adoption of the year. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 40 seconds now. Wicked match. Critics call it the feel-good adoption of the year. We do see the pits here from Eric. Confident in his ability to trap his knight once again. Where will it go? Yes. Beautiful selection. Knight to b6. Yes. And the knights will slowly find their way off the entire board. Ah, <laughs> uh, they come back the other way now. Queen to e2. Development from vk here. Deep in the thought is Kurtz. Considering many moves here. Entertaining the thought of d5, yes, and will we see a lack of respect for the bishop? There it is. <laughs> Lovely touch there. Yes, get that thing off the board. Great stuff. Yes, copying each other here. Ah, touching the knight. Unfortunately, c8, not the best looking one. And the long castle has been initiated. Bishop on g7, lacking a scope. Ah, on to g5. Lovely touch there. Chasing the bishop back to a Greener pastures. 26 seconds for the Dutchman here, as the time constraints have been lowered, ladies and gentlemen. We have to remind you. Really fondling that bishop over there as Kurtz. Knight back to c3. Eric takes his time, as the, the time is getting low for Robin. Bishop back to a lovely touch there, forcing the knight to the side of the board. What will we see? Out of ideas is Robin. He needs to break through, folks. He needs an alleyway. Queen to d7. A little knight d2 there. 23 seconds. Tactics being missed. The position opening up here. Being given some loft. Knight to b6. Kurt seems to be eyeing some squares on the position. Knight to d5. A touch there by Eric. A flick on. Look to see for 20 seconds for the Dutchman. Rook to see looking for trades without being down material. A new Eric Kurtz has shown up, ladies and gentlemen. And they have been traded. Rook to see eight. And, and Kempin's time is ticking. He's not hitting it hard enough, folks. <laughs> D5 has been played. Deep in thought is Eric. 50 seconds to 14 here. This is the closest game we've had all match. Confused is the crowd as Eric Kurtz palms his face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, cheek, this cheekbone of his is being cradled right now as Bishop to c5 has been played. Rook takes b4. Tactics have been found as the time is 20 seconds to 13. Rook to e4 has been played. Bishop to b4. This one will be a time scramble, folks. Queen to d5. And excited is Van Kempen as the time is level 12 seconds apiece. We do have a check on the board. 
Bishop to b8. Checks arrive from Van Kampen here. As Kurtz is searching desperately, trying to find a way. No, he, the time has expired. Once again, we move to 8 0. Kurtz will have his famed white pieces in the next game. You're killing me, am I? Two more games until the Dutchman can take home an American boy as his own. Knight <laughs> F3, we've seen this dance before. It was 40 last game, my friend. Knight E5, creating tactics in the position. Knight captures. Oh, the clock was not hit. The clock was no, not the hit. Clock hit. The clock was not hit. <laughs> Reconsidering his idea. Uh, knight back to F3. A lovely decision by Kurtz. Queen captures D3. A uh, full pawn to the good. Yes. Bishop to F8 to F8. Lovely touch by Campen. Bishop to F4. Bishop to E3. Provoking a good move in the center. Lovely flick on there. Knight to D7. And rook is c1, creating some tension. Copying each other now. Will they be able to throw their queens off the entire board? We will see. Less than 30 seconds here for RVK. Kurt's weighing his options here. Knight to c5. What is a drink? The crowd ponders the meaning of a drink. <laughs> the players ponder the meaning of life. Philosophical discussions all around here. Tensions at an all time high. Knight to e6. And beneath those glasses is a boy deep in thought. Knight to d2. Yes, he's done it, folks. He's traded his good bishop, yes. He's managed it. Knight to e4. Knight to d4, lashing out his Robin. King to g1. Putting himself on a potential check. But he goes against He goes against his first instinct. Knight to e8. F3. Kurt's going for delayed hedgehog here. Lovely stuff. If possible, the pawn would like to reach the e3 square just to complete the ritual. 23 seconds here for Robin. Knight going to a5. And it's, it's switched, ladies and gentlemen. The attack is on for Robin. The counter-attack. Queen to b3. Perplexed he is as he brings the king out. The early king sortie. Rook to d6. Bishop takes. If possible, Robin would like to put all his pieces on the last row. The check has been inserted here, and will the boy from Delaware be able to convert this position? Look at that king go, folks. It's on f5. 14 seconds for RVK. We have 30 seconds for Eric Kurtz. The pressure's on rook to f7 check. That king is on f5. Rook to e7 has been essayed. How can... Knight to d4. 11 seconds for the Dutchman. This is by far the closest game we've had yet. Still chances for both sides here. As deep in thought with 19 seconds left is Eric Kurtz. The finish of this game will be magnificent. Queen takes g7. Knight takes on e4. Pawn takes that check. King to e4. The king is running. Queen to g4. Rook to f4. Can he manage to keep checking with 9 seconds left of peace? Panicking is Robin. Queen to b7 looking for a queen trade when you could have made that brilliant stuff by Kurtz. Rook to g5. That's a check. He didn't need the clock yet. King to f1. Rook to f5. And with 2 seconds left, Kurtz. He can't find the way. Ladies and gentlemen, he can't find the way. He has flagged the game. That is nine in a row for the Dutchman, the Flying Dutch. There is only one more game. At three minutes and 40 seconds. I don't know. The young boy wants to avoid the diapers. Can he do it? I don't think I can, man. His famed Pierce defense will come out one last time. The final hurrah for the Delawarean. He has been within striking distance. It is the pit. Yes, his famed defense. Of course, he goes for the bread and butter. Knight to b8. Brilliant stuff. Backwards goes Kurtz. Knight to g8. Considered by the boy. Pawn to e6. And in what was potentially his worst game so far, 
Eric, will he be able to find the light? Knight to f3. Taking on d5. Castling his RVK. Going for the quick attack here. Bishops on c8. Kurtz trying to adjust his pieces to better squares, and we can't blame him with a position like this. Touching the tip of that bishop there, considering his options. <laughs> bishop to f5, yes, a lovely touch. It's been taken. Knight captures on d5. A handful of pieces has RVK. The material is equal here, we have to remind the players. Knight captures up to queen, captures rook to d1. And the conveyor belt of rooks, as we see, queen to b5. Rook to d7. And both players bring their rooks to the second rank. Queen to a4. 26 seconds for the Dutchman. Queen to a4. As Lafong's haircut becomes a topic of discussion. <laughs> what will we see from Kurtz? Rubbing his temples is Eric. What knowledge do they yet hold? Yes, doubling against his own deep on his curse. Beautiful technique. <laughs> when did that happen? That was the last move, Eric. Oh, okay, I thought he played c4. Uh, no, that was a pump fake. Learn from the best. Rook captures d5. Rook to e6. And what do we have here? He is going for it all. King has been fondled. <laughs> I am just lost. I'm just lost. I'm Negative lost. attitude, I say, by Kurtz. But this is the final game of the match. We have to see more dedication here from the young boy. More perseverance. What can he come up with in the clinch? Yes, beautiful stuff. He's looking for trades here. Worst trade deal since uh, nothing. And moves <laughs> missed by Robin van Kampen there. Knight to d6 was on the table. But he hasn't said... Decided to keep the most tricky piece Some, in a blitz. Camera, uh, yeah, I, I, okay. <laughs> and pawn hunting is Eric. It's okay for now. It's okay. Where oh, will I'm he so put? Shit on. Where will he put this king? I am so shit on. It's not even funny. A very important decision here, choosing between many many moves. Yes, king to e8 has been played. Knight to g7. Uh, these are like <laughs> and it's 19 to 16. Queen captures b2 with check, and pawn hunting is Eric. Queen is on d6. 11 seconds to 11 seconds, this is it folks. This is the final time scramble. f5 has been played, queen g5, f6, queen h5, queen e2. Has not been played, queen to d1, f7 check. With two seconds left, Eric Kurtz, can he survive? It looks like it is adoption here. They shake hands, the head is pat. He takes home a new son to this, this day.